Today you're going to learn to make hearts. That's all we're learning in this video is hearts. So for a heart, your center is always going to be the point of the heart. So here we have our heart. This is the point of our heart. Okay. This is the center of the heart. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the first one's going to be one, two, three. So you always know it's going to go eight and then three. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in one, two, three. Then we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to pull it through. And just to make sure, we're going to pinch it really hard. Get a hold of it. Pinch it very hard so that it doesn't come loose. And then just recount. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three. So we have our space from the bottom. So now we're gonna go up three. One, two, three. Now you're not gonna go this way and you're not gonna go this way. We're gonna go at an angle. So see the angle here? So you're not gonna go here or here. You're gonna go to this one. So you're gonna go one, two, three. So once you get that one, you've made your first part of the stitch. And the bottom of the heart is always the same. It's going to be flat, but the top's going to be a little different. So you're going to have three that's going to go upward. So you're going to have one, two, three, four. So the first one's three and the next one's four. Then we're going to come back into the next hole because remember it's a line. We're going to one, two, three, four, and then five. So there. So now you have your five, okay? So you know the first three is going to go up, but the next one's gonna come back down because we need to make the peak of the heart. So we're gonna go in here, and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So you're only gonna go in five. So now we have the fat part of the heart, which is peaking up, and it's gonna come down. It's gonna always come down one and then go back up. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to go up six. Now it's going to come down to sort of like a little V. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, because it's the same. Then we're going to have another one. It's going to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now you've gotten three up, come down one, and you've gone up down to three, right? But our center is right here. So that's telling me that we haven't gone far enough into the heart because you gotta go one, two, three. So this is where the point of the heart should be. So we know we have one more to go. This makes one, two, three, four, five, six. So that makes the center of the heart. So this piece doesn't actually count because this is the center of our heart. So you have the three that go up, you're gonna have one that's gonna be down, then you're gonna have one, two, three, four. But you're actually gonna only have three this way because this one's not really counting because this is the center of the point of your heart. So if you counted it, it would be wrong. Your heart would be weird if you went one, two, three, four, and you made four this way. Your heart's gonna look funny. So you're gonna come in this way because remember the flat side of the heart is flat. So you know that you're gonna start this row here because we're one, two, three. So now we gotta go one, two, three. So we know we're gonna come in this one. And then sometimes you have to dangle your string so it doesn't get tangled up. And we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. Because remember our count is six. So now we're at count six. We're gonna go into the next hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, because we're going up, remember? On this part of the heart, we're going up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we counted one, two, three, four rows, then we'd count one, two, three, four, and then we'd say, oh, we're one row short. But remember, the one that's the center of the heart doesn't count because that's the point of the heart. So that way your heart's not lopsided and this side's off point. If you do four rows on this side, you can just unstitch one. 
Now remember this next row is going to come down one because it's going to be this part of the heart where it kind of makes the curve and then the hump part. So we're going to go, so you can either A, point it there, or we can count it. One, two, three, four, five. So instead of doing six, we're going to do five. So now we have the little up, down, the little up, down, up, down kind of thing, the little zigzags, okay? Now we're gonna go one above it because now we're gonna do the fatter part of the heart. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Okay? So now it's gonna look weird right here. You're gonna be like, that looks so weird. But you can see it now. One, two, three, four, come down and up. One, two, three, four, come down and up. So we're gonna come back in here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. Because now we're doing the fat part of the heart, the last three. And then you're gonna go one, two, three. And now we've completed our heart. So this part's flat, and this part is gonna be hump down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Then you turn it over, and you put your yarn, and a lot of times I will go only through some of it, loop it around the last one that I just did, and go all the way through. So now we have a little situation here. My string's stuck. See? Stuck. And it's stuck here. It's okay. We're just going to loosen it a little and then just pull it slightly. And then rub it out. And then you just take your scissors and then you just cut off the extra. Now, because your heart looks the same on both sides, see how pretty this side is and how pretty this side is? Sometimes, on purpose, I will leave a little extra. <laughs> Because if you're making a bunch of boxes, sometimes you get confused which side's which because it looks the exact same as the other side. So I leave a little extra so I know this is the pretty side and this is the ugly side because I like my stitches to be precise and clean. So there you have it. So this is now your heart. So now you have learned how to make a heart that you can incorporate on anything that you do. So here we have a lid for an example. Let me zoom out just a little. So there's your heart. And as you can see, I've drawn out the center. I've counted from here to here, and that's how I came up with these lines here, because I counted from this point to that point. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's exactly six here and six here. So that's why I drew this line and then six here and six here. And then I counted from this point here on my heart and I went one, two, three. Because remember, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's where I'm gonna start this line. And then I'm gonna go over to here and I'm gonna count one, two, three, and I'm gonna start this row. Then I'm gonna count one, two, three, start this row. Then I'm gonna one, two, three, count this row. So now what I can do is cut out the center section here. That's the center of your tissue box. And then here is where your lines are gonna stop. You can do it in a corner, like we've done here. Or you can do it bottom to bottom. Because remember the flat part of your heart? So once you find the center of your tissue box and you draw out your center, that center, you are going to have all four points of your heart to go into that hole. One, and then two, and then three, and then four. So now all four of your hearts will butt up against this center piece. See how they all go in the same hole? I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see. See how it all butts into the same hole? And because it's flat, see your sides are flat? it can mesh. And that's how I made my lines for the lid. So when you put the lid on here, you can kind of see that line. See how the line's there? See my black line here? It shows you the center. That's what this part looks like. So that's where the lines here will touch each other and they'll look like this. It'll look like this. But on here. See how that's going to look? So it's gonna be really neat. So this is the heart design that you can incorporate on anything that you wish to do.
thanks for watching. Like it, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any comment, ideas, or suggestions, or tips, please leave those below. And this is your how to stitch a heart tutorial.